Okay, welcome to the presentation of the Intratel Q controller. I will show you uh, how the Q controller of Intratel is being uh, handled. Uh, the Q controller solution comes with an um, administration uh, console. In the administration console, you can handle your queues, um, log off reasons for uh, members or agents, and some uh, settings uh, for the database and the license. Um, queuing is uh, quite uh, simple. I uh, will add a new queue here. Um, at queue, you see here Q5 is being uh, generated. I can set here the name of the queue. This is my demo queue. And uh, this is all you really have to do to generate um, the queue. Uh, on the Swix server side, we create a, a, a dummy user and the dummy user is being provided with a, a script for the graphical script editor. And uh, all you have to do is set the QID number 5 in the graphical script editor. You can call to the dummy user and the dummy user will deliver and handle the call um, as uh, set here in the administrator. Um, to, um, to show the queue to the user, there are two, you need two things. Uh, first of all, uh, you need to use uh, a Swixit soft client. The soft client can be used in full mode or in CTI mode. That uh, doesn't make uh, any difference. And the client uh, or the member needs to have the Intratel Q client installed. Um, the, normally, the client is automatically being started with the, uh, with the Windows PC. Um, the, the client is um, a taskbar on top of uh, the screen. Uh, it is also made in a way that you um, that it is changes the maximum screen size of your Windows uh, desktop. Um, so it will always be uh, on top. Um, as soon as I log on uh, with my uh, Swixit client, you will see that the queues are generated on top of the screen. You see here all the queues that are available for this user. And you should also see that the um, availability of my um, client is count down and at this moment I am fully available. Here you see that I have generated a demo queue uh, called demo queue is called with the name. Hello, welcome to part two of my presentation of the queue controller client. Um, what we see here is I've just demonstrated how to create a new queue, queue demo, and this queue demo is now generated on my queue taskbar. And um, because I'm a logged on member with uh, my Swixit client, uh, any call into this queue will also be delivered to me. It's very easy to say, oh, I don't want any calls from this queue again. I set myself as uh, unavailable. Or if I want to receive calls again, I set myself available again to this queue. Um, I can also uh, have a look into this queue and see uh, what calls are in this queue and I can also um, uh, move the, the queue uh, button uh, to uh, another position where I want to uh, show the queue. I can change this behavior, behavior uh, very simple. Um, I can set here mandatory extensions for this queue for example, my extension is 135. I set my extension here as a mandatory extension, uh, save my uh, settings, and after saving the settings, the, um, the uh, available option on the queue will be disabled, and um, I can not... Now I'm going to show you that um, this queue demo can uh, be routed in two ways. Um, I can use um, the 
option that uh, for delivery with the knowledge of uh, 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 agents or members using the taskbar set themselves as available or not available or use any log of reason to lock themselves out of the queue um, but uh, or um, if they are in a call also the taskbar will um, see this that they are in a call and they will also be unavailable at this moment for any other calls um, so this is the first option the second option is basically that you do not uh, use uh, the taskbar but uh, you use a swix uh, group extension number and um, the extension he mentioned here uh, extension 400 will be used to deliver uh, any calls uh, from this queue to the various uh, members of this uh, swix uh, group um, um, take care that if you use this option um, that, you, that you do not have any use uh, for the taskbar so all the functionality um, provided in the in the client taskbar to um, uh, set yourself available or unavailable or on a pause state uh, are not used are ignored Actually, there are uh, two situations. Um, one situation is where uh, the queue do not have any calls waiting um, to be delivered to any of the members. Um, as you can see at this moment, none of the queues have any calls uh, waiting. And then you can use uh, various uh, delivery options. Um, we provide skill-based routing. Um, skill-based routing we um, say for example for this queue, uh, queue demo I am the, the extension with the best skills to um, to uh, handle the calls so my extension will be put in front and um, the second extension if I am not available for whatever reason then uh, the extension will be 136 and the other available extension is 137. Uh, all the other extensions that are available are still in the queue. Um, the calls will also be uh, provided to those extensions, but um, these are handled in the, um, in the way um, where the extensions are alph alphabetically ordered. Um, the other option is round. Um, you can use the same settings to um, to make the, the call um, uh, go round in a group of uh, extensions. Um, also, we provide the option longest idle and uh, parallel. Uh, with the parallel calls, um, the, all the extensions will ring at the same time.